Born in British Guyana, Carmen Munro made her West End debut in 1962. She has consistently graced the stage and screen since then, bringing us some of the UK's best love characters in programmes including Doctor Who, General Hospital, The Fosters and Desmonds, in a career spanning over 50 years. Carmen deserves this Trailblazer Award because she has blazed a trail. She has blazed a trail for the young women, she has blazed a trail for the young men, and she's a fantastic actress. She's an actress that, as someone growing up in this country, I looked up to, along with others like Mona Hammond and Corinne Skinner-Carta. And I know that Miss Monroe did found Tallowa Theatre with Mona and Yvonne Brewster. So because of women like these, we have my generation. Carmen was an actress at a time when black actors, they were, they were considered as, 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 as atmosphere rather than uh, creative artists. And what she did was showed that we are creative artists. I can't find the words to explain and describe how important her, her role in, in pioneering has been. To turn on the television and see the Fosters and see Carmen Monroe and, and Norman Beaton and at that point we'd gotten to know Lenny Henry through Opportunity Knox and stuff and just there was this black family on telly just being and I, I don't know I was probably about 10 or 11 so that was just mind-blowing. Quite apart from the work that she does one of the things which which I know she also did was during the days of apartheid in South Africa she is a very strong member of the women's branch of the ANC, the African National Congress. And whenever they needed to get a celebrity on board to help them with something, or just a body to help them sell tickets or whatever they needed, she would be there always to come to their assistance. You know, Carmen and I have been working together for over 50 years. And this this has been 50 years of sheer joy and fulfilment. The first time I saw Carmen on stage was in the Amen Corner that Anton Phillips directed and she blew me away because I'd only ever seen her doing comedy and to see her playing a character with such depth and such power and such skill, it completely blew me away. And when I told Nick Kent, the artistic director of The Tricycle, that I wanted to do this play, he said, yes, fine, you can do it if you get Carmen Monroe to play the part. Of course, I'd already approached Carmen about it, and she said yes, so that wasn't a problem. Later on, I introduced Carmen to James Baldwin in one of his, one of his visits to, uh, to England, saying, this is the actress who's going to play the lead in your play. And uh, after about two minutes, uh, Baldwin sort of leaned back and looked at her with a big grin on his face and said, I like you. <laughs> But, and then came Desmond. From the long of to the ocean breeze to the dam and to the rain of London City. We come from the sun. We did 71 episodes of Desmond. That's 71 films of Desmond, you know. Her performance in every episode was right in the top echelon of, of, of our craft, you know. The first time I worked with Carmen was on Desmond's, actually. I'd seen her on television before, and uh, funny enough, she was one of the first black faces I ever saw on television, and she was gorgeous. So um, it was a real privilege to work with her, and when I thought of Shirley, the character that she played, I never thought of anybody else but Carmen. <laughs> Your father's idea of a balanced diet is balancing a plate of rice and peas on his knee in front of the TV. <laughs> Mother Nature, just give me Mother Ambrose's cooking. This is pretty good, Des. You should try some. Yes, you should try cutting here, Tony. <laughs> she empowered me in my job as, you know, script editor and trainee producer and then ultimately her producer. But she was an absolute inspiration and support. She's incredible. To have the opportunity to play Carmen Monroe's son was, I'm, I'm telling you, it was the dream job. Six years of greatness. Uh, 1987 we started, um, met Carmen. As much as she was flawless with her acting and stuff like that, she was very natural. She was very natural, very comical, very straight when needed to be, you know what I mean? One of my fondest memories was working with her, it was a funny scene actually, was the, the fact both her and Norman Beaton playing Desmond were in bed, and they were supposed to embrace and she wouldn't have it because Norman had been out the night before. And she said, I'm not kissing my mouth, it's just too. Anyway, yeah, she was really funny on set. She was just 
honest and uh, straightforward and a wonderful actress. She is just irreplaceable. She is extraordinary in what she brings to a play, a drama, a comedy. I know you think we're probably making a bit of a fuss about you, Carmen, but you absolutely wholeheartedly deserve this award. Thank you, Carmen, for your career, for your determination, for making us strong. I thank you. We salute you. We applaud you. We are in awe of you. Congratulations. You are a true trailblazer. A massive big thank you for being a beacon in this industry for many of us to follow. Thank you, Carmen, for your inspiration, your beauty, your wisdom. You Brock down, kick down doors. Thank you, Carmen, for a blessed career. I've always wanted to work with you, and I got the privilege and the pleasure to work with you on Desmond's. You changed my life in many ways. And you, above everybody else, deserve this award. It's a trailblazer award, and you're a trailblazer par excellence. Thank you for being. Thank you for taking that baton and passing it on. Thank you.